Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hanish here, and welcome to how to launch a rocket that's too heavy in KSP. Here we have a nice little lander rocket. It's not the most efficient rocket, but it's an example nonetheless. It's got loads of fuel and loads of tanks, and it's got our lander on the top, and we want to send this out into space. But at this mid-stage of our career mode, we've got these large engines and these large tanks, but the odds are you might not have enough money to upgrade your launch pad again. At this point, the, the uh, maximum tonnage of the launch pad is 140 tons, and your craft is way more probably going to be than that. So, let's go crazy with it. Let's put even more fuel on. Yeah, let's make it even heavier. Why not? There we go. Let's move these fins up as well. I mean, I'll tell you what, let's do it the easy way. Let's do it like this. There we are. Ah. Uh, 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 and there. Right. So we've added even more fuels on. It's 192 tons now. This is never going to launch off that launch pad, but there is a way to do it, and I'm going to tell you how now. First things first, take your fuel out. Not all of it, just enough so that you can launch. So we've taken out ooh, a good number, a good amount of the fuel. Uh, but now we're under the tonnage, tonnage limit. Saved your craft, and then you need the Fuelatron 5000. Here it is. Uh, it's basically two fuel tanks with uh, steerable wheels, uh, an engine each side, a probe to control it, a big long arm, and a grabber. Uh, grabber. Now, uh, this does require you to have the grabber uh, researched at this point, which you may or may not have. So, uh, for this technique, you will need to get that sorted out. But if your launch pad doesn't uh, can't take large loads, then this is the way forward. Get your fuelatron out there on the launch pad and get it ready. Once you have your fuelatron on the launch pad, activate one of the engines to make it roll off the launch pad and drive yourself very carefully off the launch pad. So, I mean, I'm going to shut down that engine now. Get ready with the brakes, because you're going to need to stop. And you may need more than one Fuelatron. Let's see if I can park this perfectly. Oh yes, look at that. Three Fuelatron 5000s ready to fuel our stupid craft. So, here is our rough and ready rocket. Some fuel is already on board because, well, we had the capacity to do so. Others, not so much. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use our fuelatrons to fill them up. So, for example, let's take this one first. And we're going to just uh, make sure that the front engine is shut down. The rear engine's active. Turn those brakes off and give it a little burst. There we go. We're going to try and get straight up this ramp and straight in. Arm the grabbing unit. There we go. And let's just line ourselves up a little bit. There we go. Get ready with the brakes. Nice and gently does it. Bit more power than that, Hellish. There we go. Gently. Just a little burst. Just a little more. Oh, and oh, we missed. Hang on. Need to try again. Need to try again. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, we slid off. Okay. If you can aim correctly. <laughs> Let's have another shot. Let's try and hit the uh, the side one. Let's try and hit the side one. Okay, so I realign myself for the side fuel tank. All you got to do is grab hold of something and get in there very slowly with it. So we just there we go. We are now attached. So our full Fuelatron 5000 is now attached. The engines are now off. I'm actually going to shut that engine down now, and we can hold Alt and click the tank in the Fuelatron and click a tank in the rocket and put the fuel in it. And there we go, using the Fuelatrons you can uh, fill your aircraft up with fuel and make it bigger than what you normally can have on your launch pad. Now, 
The only thing is, is that you might need more than one Fuelatron and you might need to do a little bit of process of wiggling around, but it allows you to get these tanks up and ready to roll. Also, you don't have to have the Fuelatron 5000, obviously. You can make your own craft for doing that. Now, this one's now out of fuel, so what we're going to do is uh, release the grabbing unit and we're going to use the ramp to guide ourselves back to a resting place. So, no, no, there we go. So we're just going to steer this now down the ramp. We're just using the ramp. And when we get to the bottom of the ramp, I'm just going to just curve it out of the way. Use the momentum of the ramp to park it over here. And there we go. That is how you fuel your aircraft, which was too heavy for your launch pad. And all you've got to do then is fit it up and take off. And there we go. Using these three fuelatrons, I have now managed to fill my vessel up and we are nearly ready to launch a vessel which is somewhere in the region of 200 tons on a 140 ton launch pad. So today, Jebediah, Bill, Bob and Valentina are all going to travel to the moon together and they do it in a vessel which... Oh crap. Well, you get the theory anyway. <laughs>